Hi. Consideration of preliminary application for tax abatement under the city's urban revitalization plan for Noble Distributors Incorporated. Discussion or questions? Make motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. Go ahead. Call for a vote. <coughs> Councilman Mushka? Yes. Granny? Yes. Frederick? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Motion carried. J. Discussion of water land erosion issue at Joe Rex Road property. Um, I think Bill would like to address this a bit. Okay. Well, about, uh, what was it, what did you say, a week, ten days ago, Jim, Jim uh, Frederick and I met down at the site of the Rex Road's resident and looked at it. And my first reaction was, as, as we talked, that, you know, if they think it's a problem, we created it with rocks that were evidently poured into the ditch, had rolled down, and presumably the Rex Road claimed that those, that field rock that was put in the ditch just above the entrance into the stream had created this situation where there was some bank erosion, erosion on their property. In other words, the city caused the problem by the, the rocks being, the, being dumped into the ditch, and then they eventually rolled down into the uh, creek that starts there. And my first reaction was, is, oh, let's go ahead and take care of it. If they think it's a problem, to keep good relations to do so. And then I was reading my notes for the city meeting tonight, and I thought, you know, or this afternoon. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll just go down and take another look at that. Just, I'm just going to look at it closer. I put my boots on and actually went down into the stream. And just before I got here, I did uh, a, a, a brief drawing. And so I'll share that with you all. For everyone to see, I'll move over here for the visual aid here. Okay. Okay, of course, the top is north. Okay, this is the Rex Road home and outbuildings here. Uh, this represents a the ditch beside the gravel road. And to give you some perspective, this is VT Industries here. Um, the, the county sheds are further south down here. Um, okay, so there is actually a stream, that, a, a small stream that starts here. It's created primarily by a big three-foot deep, or a three-foot uh, culvert coming in here under the road. Uh, in other words, this water is coming from the south. There's a three-foot culvert, and then there's a four-foot box culvert. And, and this there's quite a bit of water, I would say about uh, four times as much water presently running in this culvert as it is coming down the ditch which parallels the Rex Road home here. Uh, so most of the water is coming from the south and creating this pool here. There is a small amount that does come down the ditch most of the time and there is an eight inch tile and a six inch tile which does dump into this ditch and then right where their driveway is, there's a small culvert, I would guess, probably an 18 inch culvert that lets the water run under their uh, driveway. So the amount of water that can be coming down here is fairly limited to, you know, that culvert that, that through their driveway here. So there is some flow of water here which could conceivably move this field rock. Now if I understand that this was some field rock that was dumped in by the city several years ago. And uh, so, and most of the water, so I can imagine if there's a big rain coming, you know, just basic physics would tell us that the, the major water is going to be coming through these big uh, three-foot culvert, the four-foot box culvert. So most of the water is coming this way. So I put some big arrows here indicating the vector force of that water coming this way. And relatively little force coming this way. So the field rock right here is what the Rex Roads claim came down the ditch here, rolled into the pond here, and then hit this bank here and piled up and caused the water to forcibly erode the bank up here. Which So their, their complaint is, is that we have some field erosion or some bank erosion right here because of the water that's supposedly created because of the rock that's here that rolled down the ditch that was poured in by the city. So I jumped down into the water and looked at 
you know, the depth here and, and looked at the banks and if you look at it from down, down inside here we'll see that this is actually not field stone, this on the banks here and this is the bank where they contend that the field stone came up and, and created this problem. This is actually broken up limestone. It's not the field stone right here and if one considers you know, let's say if this field stone did come down the ditch and into this area, if there's a three foot deep pool right now, and you can imagine if we got a big rain, this uh, water would even be more com direct coming here. Uh, any, any round field stone would drop into this pool right here and really couldn't come against this bank here. So, Mike, and, and then if you look in the pool itself, most of the rock is this broken up limestone, which was installed when they put the culverts in. You can see the limestone along the banks mm -hmm. and here and what's in the bottom of the pool and the bottom of the stream here is the broken up limestone. It has, there's very little field rock here. And okay. so I'm saying is, is that the water coming from the south, the vector force is by, created by the water itself coming underneath the road and really doesn't have any anything to do with this rock here which it was actually deposited by the contractor who made the installation here to begin with so if we look at it from the from the, okay this is a cross section where this is this little pond right here so we're looking from, from, from an aerial view above. This is the little pool here with three feet, that's three feet deep. This represents the incline coming down at about a 30% incline. Any rock, field rock coming into here would just plunk right down into here, but there's really not that much field stone there to begin with. Its rock is fairly buoyant and it might have even rolled further downstream, but it certainly didn't. And this is the uh, bank right here which is the bank where they claim that they're that they that our field stone deposited in that's actually your limestone here so really your force is coming from the south against the bank over over here and it's really not created by any deposition of rock that they claim was up here so my contention is and I you know I, I'm not an engineer but I would you know submit to you that it's actually designed that way. It was just evidently some big rains that came and created the problem and um, you know to say that the field stone caused the problem I would you know really differ with that. And I'd like Bob's impression if do you think I'm reading this correctly? Well I think you're pretty much right Doc. We did by before we go any farther into this discussion, mm -hmm. for legal purposes, I believe it would probably be prudent for us to probably take this into closed session if you want to go into okay. the this okay. discussion. Uh, it's one thing to discuss the actual um, area itself, but to go into actually any type of discussion on what we believe the, the justification or cause was would require us to look into legal matters and actually maybe go into closed session to discuss that issue. Okay. Uh, I would just... I think that that would probably... Good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do you want to go in? Do you want to have Shall further we, discussion on this? Can we go uh, into Council Forum and then to one yes. closed session mm -hmm. for a little bit? That way if Okay, um, item six. Council Forum, is there anything that you would like to discuss, Council Members? Oh. Um, can I discuss something? Uh, sure. I know that there's nothing you can do about this. I'm, I'm very concerned about the condition of the urban engine. 